And welcome back to the Arkham Megalo. Uh, we have so far uh, played four of our 12 games. We've played Bumper Stickers, Meritus, Tunic, and Crosscode. And we have a fifth game on its way right now. Um, so this is one of the two manual games, which I'm sure is going to go well. So what, is, what this is... This does not communicate directly with the Archipelago server. There is a manual client that tells me what checks I am allowed to do, and then I check those off, and based on any items that I might have received, that pretty much uh, tells me what I am allowed to use. And um, for this one, we are going to be doing... Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And I don't think you can hear that. Hang on. At least I can't hear it. Oh, that's why. Yeah, there we go. Downshifting into manual. We start in a new file. Uh, would you like to connect online? No thanks. I'll play on wild mode, why not? So what have I gotten so far? We have 12 Waddle Dees. Um, we have two copy abilities. We have Ice and Cutter. But I'm only allowed to use Ice and Cutter at the moment. This is a really cool looking game. It's also just a really cool game in general. Not allowed to use that. Um, there we go. I knew there was a slide, I just didn't remember what button it was. Uh, can I change my controls? Yeah, that's better. There we go. And it feels super weird to like force myself to uh, not use an ability. Curb. Hey Timmy, how you doing? This is Curb, but it's also the Archimegala, which means I am restricted about how I play. Currently, I can only use the Ice and Cutter abilities.
I'm doing all right. All right, and as far as mouthful modes, um, this is the one exception. Getting that cutscene and swallowing the car gives me the car mouthful mode. Did you watch Ernest P. Worrell? I have definitely watched some Ernest movies uh, a long time ago. So currently, as far as mouthful modes, um, I have access to car and scissor lift. And anything else I am not allowed to use. That's our next, uh, our next task is to rescue Alphalon. That gives us a progressive stage clear. And uh, now I have access to uh, the first stage of the game. Hey Kirby. Waddle Dee. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, I do not have a second player. It is a sad time. By the way, I, I don't know if this game is a little quiet. I might bump it up here. It's just unfortunately the um, yeah the the shadow cast capture is kind of quiet. Oops. Uh, no. So now I have access to the first hidden Waddle Dee and also make five tulips a bloom. Although I think maybe getting the first hidden Waddle Dee might open up the second. I'm not really sure how this works. We're going to learn as we go. I've never played a, um, a manual multi-world game before, so... Ooh, but there's Cutter. I'm allowed to have Cutter. This is not going to be a 100% run. There is an option to get a 100% run. I don't think it's fully implemented yet. Uh, this is a mouthful mode I do not have access to.
Okay, that wasn't the way forward. This is the way forward. Way forward technologies. So I guess the tulips that bloom, like it only counts like, oh that's, for one thing, that's not even a tulip. Also, nothing that says that I can't use my uh, my amiibo for like. Oh geez, nope, I don't have access to this. I was trying to use my cutter to break those. Really unfortunate. Considering I only have access to two right now. Trying to get just close enough that I can actually use that, uh, that triple cover move. Hooray! Yeah, downtown grassland, one waddle dee. Which gave me a lot of Dee. Oh boy. A Waddle D for a Waddle D. This counts as an alpha mode, I think. So I can't use that. I am glad that it doesn't like force me to do anything.
another tulip over there. We shall meet your sleepy demise. Kirby shows no mercy. Perhaps not the best choice. No. Well, it's number four. Hopefully, I can get all five. I might not be able to get all five. In fact, I might not be able to get past this. I don't have access to the um, to any other mouthful modes right now. Any of the several mouthful modes in this stage. second. My TV decided to have a fit there. That's not the worst fit I've ever seen it had. It has had the straight up toxic super freakouts. There is another tulip around here that uh, I'm able to get. I might have like passed it by or something. Hey Foos, thank you for the resub. Seven months in a row, 22 in a So yeah, I might just not be able to do this right now, actually. Which is unfortunate. I can't even finish this stage, so the one hidden wall D that I got, well, quote unquote hidden, um, I would have to get again, but I can't uncheck a check, so, oh well. Well, that's unfortunate. Waddle D is Waddle Dead. Mazzy, thank you for the 400 bits. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, um, gonna have to put that on hold, I think. That was worth a try. Next up, Cooking Mama. I can assure you Cooking Mama is not on the list. But I do know a hot mama who, who knows how to cook among other things. I think 
I think there's a fair amount of checks there too. Uh, let me set this up here. What do you mean rare stone? Okay, hang on. Let me restart the uh Let me restart the manual client. Maybe it was being get, getting confused going from one game to another. There we go. Oh yeah, and there is there are a bunch of uh Oh wow, basic training? Okay, well I guess that's a check. That's probably going to be the last game of the night. It's going to take a, it's going to take a minute. So yeah, I put this game in. <laughs> there is actually a um a manual for Final Fantasy XIV. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I I do know for sure. Right now, there are 18 checks that I can get. Okie dokie. Um, so what I have access to right now... My highest class is a Reaper. I'm allowed level 15 Reaper, level 10 Scholar, and level 5 Bard, Dragoon, Summoner, and White Mage. And also I have 5 levels of Alchemy? How does crafting factor into this at all? Anyway, my highest level is Reaper. I'm gonna go Reaper. Um, able to access Hall when I was training with this job? That might be a problem then. <laughs> because the game straight up wants me to do. Um, Basic training enemy parties. I also have access to two guild hests. Oh, it's a guild hest. I have access to three guild hests. These three here. While I'm queuing, I'm gonna go to Central Shroud and start doing some fates because that's gonna be some checks. Also, check out my cool bike. Uh, that's level 9. 
Yeah, I can do these because I have level 15. Um, I have level 15 Reaper. I just need to remember how to get to this one. I think it's a cave. Yeah, there we go. In here. Basically, I figured this would be kind of funny. And also, again, this is a journey of discovery. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, so that is one fade in central, central shroud. That sends me a Waddle D. There's also an option for this called Fate Sanity, which means every individual fate is a check. And daily quests are not in this, I think. Let's get rid of these pads here first. And sink level and off to the races. Now, as much as possible, I'm probably going to be running any duties that it asks uh, in um, unsynced mode. So we can just kind of run through and catch them. I said GT. That's a fool trap for a ruin seeker. You are a fool. That's level 34, so I don't have access to it yet. That is level 8. Dude, dude, and as you didn't get a flute. Damn. Imagine not getting a flute. That would never happen in real life. Oh, that's fate number three. Mechanism 1 Elevator to slot 8. So that is check number 4 for slot 8. And one more and that'll be open. And the only two fates up here are too high level. So I'm going to go to cent the central Thalon. Keep this moving. All these are fair game. Let's do this the cheap way. Hello. Not exactly exciting because as a Reaper I have 
All I have is a 1 2 1 2. That's about it. At this low level, you don't get much. And it's kind of a, a side effect of like. Um, Reaper was introduced in Endwalker, which means it starts at level 70. Which means it's not very well balanced for like a real level combat. And when you're doing fates, you have to sink down to whatever level it is. See if I can uh, complete this before I queue in. There we go. Wait for the pop. And let's get in there. Okay, so this is under the armor. Pretty much the, the strategy is never mind the ads, focus down the boss, do the complete. I got under the armor. Oh, that unlocks uh, five more Reaper levels. Which means I have access to Sestasha and the Tantara Deepcroft. Come to think of it, it's not really fair if I do those unsynced, right? Because I only have access to level 20 Reaper. I don't know, I'll think about it. Um, but I did get one fate. Uh, in her shadow map to slot 6. Okay, so I have access to level 20 Reaper. Uh, take this off. Let's confirm that Sestasha is on the list. Oh, it is not. Withdraw. Time Terra is though. So let's keep on doing fates. Also, I keep forgetting that uh, Reaper has this uh, this debuff to do more damage that I keep forgetting to use. Two, that, that is King's Ring to Leah. Um, I don't have the last time I'll go over there. Oh, I understand why I have Temterra and not um, Sestasha because I don't have access to the zone Sestasha is in. 
Uh, Mazzy, how does this function without getting banned for modding? Because it's not a mod. Um, this is a um, this is a manual multi-world, which means I have to connect with a manual client and manually indicate that I have completed whatever checks I've completed. Sorry, I missed that message. But yeah, the, this is a large portion of why uh, manual multi-world exists. Uh, the, the first game to have it implemented was uh, Phasmophobia, because the uh, license agreement for that game prohibits modding the game. That is uh, 50 monies to Foxboy. With head tats. Yes, Fox Boy, because one of the games is Tunic. So far, we have discovered uh, five of the games. So there's Bumper Stickers and Meridus, obviously. There's Tunic, Crosscode. Oh, we've discovered six. Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is also a manual. And uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Reflect Shield upgrade. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Cowardly Challenger. This this one will take less long. Okay, that is five fates in Central Fanalan. That's another Reflect Shield upgrade. Yes, please. Oh. I pressed too many buttons at once there, and I'm not sure what happened. Uh, Middle Lanasea. Middle Lanasea. And there are barely any fates up. There was this one that just started, and that's it. And it's a defense fate, which means I need to get there as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, at this low level, I don't get uh, AoEs, which is like 
the Reaper's bread and butter is mostly the Elise. Get over here. There's another dude here. Soft as a baby's ass. Fate number one. Five more levels of Reaper. Not that it's going to help me until I open up more zones. Ooh, someone's here. I don't know if uh, the expectation is that I get uh, gold rank in the Fate or just participation in the Fate. I'm going to go with I just need to participate. Five levels of Monk. I'm probably going to avoid using Monk. There we go. There's like one of these that's planting not at this little level. And someone else just showed up. Yep. Set to slot 10. We have not been to slot 10 yet. The fates aren't usually this slow. But yes, this multi-world lets you, like, designate certain classes to be um, explicitly marked as progression. So those are, in my case, uh, Bard, Summoner, Scholar, Reaper, and uh, Dark Knight. I was excited about Dark Knight because uh, basically I was trying to do at least one of every roll, but I really haven't leveled um, any tank rolls past level 50. Okay, so that is fate number four. That is super missile tank to slot nine. And this will be the fifth one.
And then I can go back to uh, to the shroud and get those last two fates that I need. Yep, get off your bike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the funny thing is, I uh, haven't yet actually touched the Reaper since uh, Dauntrail started. I'm actually gaining experience right now. Nope. Alright, well have a good night, Donut. Thanks for coming by. Okay, so that is fate number five, and that is another Waddle D for Kirby. Let's go back to the shroud. I'm surprised that this queue is taking so long. I'm probably not going to sit for too long just waiting for cues to happen. So I do want to, like, if I'm going to be playing this, I want to be doing something and not just sitting waiting for cues. So we might be playing one more game now. helps things along when someone else uh, shows up to help. And one more I'll do it. There we go. So that is Central Shroud. Fate number four. And here we go into Hero on the Half Shell. What zone is that in? Oh, I've gained access to Southern Fennelon at some point. Okay, yeah, I know what this is. Advertising tough. Okay, so now we gotta DPS this turtle line. But our goal is not to dis is not to kill it. Basically, once we get the HP down below it. Forget where it is. There it is. So that uh, gave us a fire sprite core. Use it on the ear patch. Move the turtle over to the ear patch. Work complete. P 
people commenting like, what a weird guild test this is, using a mechanic that is never used again. Uh, was that down? Yeah, it was. That gives me five levels of sage. I've barely unlocked sage. I think someone has not claimed their reward. Okay, so now I can mark off Hero on the Half Shell. And I have access to the Bowl of Embers. Uh, flicking sticks and taking names. And uh, the Five Fates and Southern Fallon. over here. Yeah, I don't know what happened to whoever was working on this. They might have died, actually. It's the only thing I can figure is that this, uh, this fate is 43% complete when I get to it, and there's no one here. I got to, uh, might, might have been an early level player, got overwhelmed and died. Oh well, c'est la vie. In this case, c'est la mort. Um, so that is the last one, Sentra Shroud. That gives me a Goddess Shield for slot 10. So now I have access to Southern Balan. I'm going through a little Alamigo. At least to start off, this is pretty quick. I think this mountain here actually has a cave inside of it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is level 28. I have... I have level 25 Reaper, so this is just barely inside my range of being able to do this. I did read the instructions at, at least to some degree here. And uh, it said in order for a fate to be in logic, um, the level of the class you're going in as needs to be no more than three levels under the level of the fate. So right now I have level 25 Reaper and this is level 28 fate. It is in logic.
Wait, is this a boss fight? Yeah, this is a boss fight. Who's the boss? I didn't realize this was a boss fight. Oh, there he is. I see him. And for, for anyone who is not familiar with uh, Final Fantasy XIV and why I am allowed to do a fate that is three levels higher than my level, um, it's an actual thing in in 14. If your level is too low for a fate, then even if you have a significant contribution, you will not get any credit for that fate. So I can get some health back here. There we go. Oh, this is a two-parter. Also, I forgot that the, uh, the timer on Shadow of Death actually does stack up to a minute. So I just want to keep that popped off as much as possible. Oh shit. Oh, double shit. That was done in. Second burn. And I get stunned. Great. And also do a little less damage. Oh, this is unfortunate. I should be able to finish this fate before uh, popping into that uh, guild hut. There we go. Corpse Brigade will never perish. Well, you say that. That's two fates in Southern Thailand. That gives me a par fate for slot 10. And uh, an attack offering for uh, for the Ruin Seeker.
I didn't consider that uh, this was actually going to like make me do guild tests. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, a lot of people with their Uraeus coat today. Which I don't blame them. It's, it's a good coat. That's what I use on my, uh, on my bard. Okay, so that was basic training and any parties uh, that looks like Thanon. No. Yeah, these guys won't aggro on me because I'm substantially higher level than them. There it is. Middle Lenaseo. Flame Star is slot 10. Okay, um, so here I am in Southern Downwind. Downwind is uh, within my level range, so we're going to do that. They want aggro. I mean basically zero. <laughs> That's the idea. Southern Penland, Fate number three, Dark Armor to Slot 10. Uh, these Fates are too high level. Oh, yeah. No, the, actually, no, the ones down here are too high level as well. Um, yeah, because I'm still. I still have access to level 5 Reaper and no more than that. Which means I cannot do a fate that is level uh, that is more than level 28. Or it might be 29, I forget. But the fact is these down here are level 32, this is 46, 46, 45, 49. Those are not in logic. So right now I'm kind of stuck waiting for one to spawn that is in logic. I suppose if I wanted to, I could just go chase down those fates. Just they wouldn't count. This one's about to end though. This one doesn't have a whole lot of time left. Yeah, all of these fates are a little old. They'll expire not too long. This one's not even technically up. I think I'm just gonna wait for a Q to pop. This will be the last Q for today. Um. Once we come out of that dungeon, I'll see if there are any more uh, fates up in this northern part of Southern Vanillin. 
and then that will be it for Final Fantasy XIV for now. I guess I would probably have the time to dip my toe into the other game that I've unlocked. So while I'm waiting for the queue here, I'm going to prepare it because it is a wrong game. I'm going to generate the ROM. Copy this path, open patch. Also, I just realized the uh, the map tracker for Tunic was still open. You assume there are dancing notes? There are a couple. A lot of them are um, a lot of them are, are shop items or things that you get from like very deep quest lines. But there is this one. It's the Manderville Mambo. Thank you for that. Uh, there's also, I don't know, the sun drop dance. Not quite as exciting, but this is based on actual tribal dances. Like real life dances. This is flicking sticks and taking them. Naturally, everyone taking this opportunity to start talking to me. This is definitely shrouded. Like, like part of the thing is like I need to actually figure out um, 
which zone these are all in because like all of the checks are split into zones. So like I have to find the zone in the list and then I have to um, find the specific check and check it out. Ah yes, which brings us to today's sponsor, nobody, but I guess this uh, this stream is brought to you by Archipelago. They're not sponsoring me, but I mean if it wasn't for Archipelago existing, then I wouldn't be doing the Archimago. Funny how that works, huh? Oh my goodness. There we go. That gave me an achievement? What achievement is this? Just do a bunch of guild tests? Brought to you by Brondo, the Thirst Mutilator. Okay, well, since there is a, uh, there is a fate there, so I'm going to take that on right away. I think it's the one that we just did a little bit before. Um, there it is. Oh, this is a different one. I think. At the very least, it's marked as a, uh, as an enemy's fate. Maybe it's Orca Megalo. Gigantic balls. Bowls, 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 bowls of steel. Trying not to bother the other uh, level 28 enemy there, because like, you have to look for the enemies specifically that have this little icon on them. Those will progress the fate. Killing anything else will not have any effect. it is. Oh, that gave me a memory of a distant world. Uh, so memories of a distant world are pretty much the MacGuffin in this, uh, in this whole Final Fantasy XIV thing. Uh, I need to collect 20 of those in order to complete the, um, in order to complete this world. Oh, this is... okay. You going, buddy? Oh, they're discovered. Yeah, this is an escort, so... Uh, unfortunately, we are beholden to... Uh, how fast the escort he wants to go. Fortunately, there's not a whole lot of uh, main story quest escorts. There are a few, but they don't come up very often. 
We're already most of the way through this one. Unfortunately, you're gonna start running through a bunch of unrelated dudes. So probably going to uh, come ruining our day here. Oh, maybe not. Almost a little Almiga. I have I haven't forgotten to uh, mark off that field message if I want to jump directly into the face and stuff. It was right there. Oh, oh I do have a uh, an AOE now. Uh, we should be in the clear at this point. Just need to wait for the flame scout here to get to his designated little spot. And there we go. Mind Refresh Ultra to, sl to slot 4. That is the fourth check for slot 4. Uh, done a great service for old... Uh, So now I just need to find those flicking sticks and taking names. It was definitely in the shroud somewhere. There it is. Five levels of ninja. Uh, that puts me at ninja level five. That was the first ninja that I got. Um. So the available checks now are the Bowl of Embers and the Tumtara Deep Croft. Uh, the Bowl of Embers is a is a uh, trial. The Tumtara Deep Croft is a dungeon, and I don't really have time to do that right now. So I'm gonna call that good for Final Fantasy XIV for the moment. Go back home. Since I am here, I may as well just re-dispatch my, uh, my adventures real quick here. Okay. So we got a little bit of time. So we're going to transition to our last game for the night. Uh, so yeah, you're not connected, so I can just plug you in. And hopefully this USB cable isn't too flaky. We're not going to get very deep into this, but uh, we can get started at the very least. Okay, turn off Final Fantasy XIV. Turn on this hawk. <clears throat> <clears throat> Wait for the game to load. But you can't guess which uh, console this is for. So 
so this is another one of the unsupported games. And I feel like this one was uh was gonna happen sooner or later. Okay. Now I don't know... I did my best to configure this game, but like... The... the YAML for this is really weirdly documented. Also, let me, uh... I'll go, I'll go back in alias, uh, slot 12 later. I kind of forgot to do that. So yeah, this uh, this file is from uh, my test playthrough. Already starting a new game. Called oh, butts. I am generally going to be skipping cutscenes. But I would not do, I would not do you the disservice of skipping the cutscene. Today. It's kind of iconic. I'm sure you all agree. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who I'm wish sorry, to pay me tribute. Bit, by the way. Tribute. You steal men's souls, and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. Here comes the line. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Oh, he said the thing. <laughs> As usual, you can't die against Dracula. Oh, the first Dracula fight as Victor. I think if you... If you manage to do it without running out of health, you get some sort of buff or something. I'm not too overly concerned about that. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, go. Well. Ah, just barely. Just a little longer, and I would have got it. There's the killing blow. Thank you, Maria. GG easy game. I'm gonna be skipping all of the other cutscenes. Just that cutscene is iconic. I could I didn't have it in me to skip. I got my 
a good uh, good chunk of checks all over. By the way, I randomized the candles, so I just got a thousand dollar drop from one of them. Equipment, whatever will I do? Um, I kind of prefer swords actually. That's a neat sword. I wouldn't mind having pizza myself, Foose. Rather than just Alucard having pizza for me. Yeah, I think that short sword drop is kind of guaranteed, so at least you have like something. Uh, so this is set up so that once I enter a uh, save room, I get healed automatically. I don't need to tag the uh, the save hexahedron, whatever the fuck it is. A piece of heart to slot three. That is the fourth item for slot three. And do well in Path of Exile, no pizza for you. Oh well. You can get a pizza for other reasons. Just make up a reason. It's like, oh. Well. I have existed today, and therefore I shall have pizza. No one else can say otherwise. Fuck you. Star coins to three. I always forget how to get this one. It's like, yeah, I can do that, but also, like, then how do I actually get on there? There will be other ways to get there. Did I get any relics, by the way? Yeah, I got Echo of Bat. Well, I got Echo of Bat, but I don't have bad form. It doesn't do me any good. I don't know what that noise is outside, but I am concerned. That's a very loud vehicular noise.
He might go a little bit over today, but like, he's not gonna go for too, too much longer. You've never seen this game played. Yeah, it sounds pretty decent. It's a good soundtrack. A lot of people are gonna say this game is heavily overrated. I am not going to disagree. This, this game is probably held in a little bit higher regard than it really should. But it's still a good game. Yeah, the voice is pretty clear. I mean, it's still very crappy, like... The, the quality of the voice acting ain't great. But the voice itself, itself is pretty clear. I max up and I get a boss token? Unless that's a thing in this game. Can I actually go through this or is it just kind of blocking me if I can or something? Seemed like an unnecessary. Oh! Storage mouth, alright. We got another mouthful mode for Kirby. Move faster, Pokey. Feels like a horror movie and someone about to get killed. You know, I don't think I've ever used this sword. At least I haven't used it very much. We're gonna go for a little longer, but not a whole lot, because this is supposed to be the end time. what I'm wearing now. Uh, Luminous. Luminous is uh, attack 31. I'm not concerned about that. Yeah, I already have a guard's go uh, God's Garb on. I'm just saying for this game because I'm pretty sure wherever they are, whatever time period they are, don't use US dollars. You're probably correct about that. Gas cloud for a oh. For sub weapon. Go through this door over here. CD. I wonder what that means. Now, if I'm not mistaken, like most of the game can potentially be played just 
without even having the CD in the drive. But when you transition zones, then yeah, you have to have the CD in there, which is why the CD um, icon exists there. To let you know that, hey, we're going to be loading something soon. to go waddle these nuts so I can bash them. Didn't see a single save point throughout that entire thing. I'm slightly concerned. Sam here. Oh, we're back here, okay. And there's definitely something over here. Maybe if I were to land on that little ledge there, I'd be able to jump over. I don't know if I have enough purchase to jump over, but no, I'm gonna try. Yep. Just barely. Blue Boomerang for slot 3, which, uh, that's enough chucks to unlock it. Let's check this out. There's nothing usable here, but I can check it out. I think that will probably be good. Let's go over here so we have some music to send off to here. Okay. So, all things considered, that was a pretty good session, I think. It wasn't without its uh, technical foibles, but that's to be expected. Got a lot of progress done. Got uh, seven games that we've uh, started into. And we got Bumper Stickers, Meridus, uh, Tunic, Crosscode, Symphony of the Night, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I don't know how many checks we got, but um, I do have the log saved and I'll be able to count that up. Uh, and hopefully next time we'll be able to have like some sort of a display of how many checks we've gotten, how much time we've spent in each game. And we have to sort that whole spending time in each game thing as well, because uh, you know me, I like numbers. Anyway, uh, thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you Zero, Donut, Grim, J-Pop, Tyrion, Timmy, Foose, and Mazzy. 
And uh, Frank and Manic is supposed to be on that list. I don't know why you know. Oh, because Sammy crashed, right. So the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday. It's going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, which is going to be some more Archipelago shenanigans, but with actual other people. So it's not me doing 12 games. Uh, and that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, Archimago stream next uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And uh, we just before we ended here, we unlocked another game. We unlocked an eighth game. So we're probably going to be starting with that one. Um, also want to add some game changers in so that you guys can have some effect on what I'm playing. Uh, that's going to take a little bit of working, and I definitely wasn't going to have it for the fourth session anyway, but um, yeah, should be lots of fun. I still have that Time Spinner tournament match as well. Uh, as it turns out, the other person uh, that I'm supposed to be playing in the match is not on the uh, Speed Gaming Live Discord. So I'm going to have to get in touch with him somehow. Uh, I did try to get in touch with him over Challenge, but um, he did not reply, so I guess I'm just going to have to send him an, an unsolicited message on uh, Discord. I have to send him a friend request because that's how fucking Discord works. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.